One local restaurant has plenty of ghost stories for Halloween. Yeah, they really do. People say that they are hearing voices and seeing things at Corned Beef and Company in downtown Roanoke. 10 News anchor Alyssa Ray visited to see what's really spooking employees after dark. Corned beef is one of the most popular spots in downtown Roanoke, but what some may not know is the spooky things that happen after dark. A Roanoke staple, family friendly by day, bustling bar by night. But when the party stops, the paranormal experiences are just getting started. When there's a lot of people in here, you don't really experience a lot of stuff going on. It's really when it kind of starts clearing out and then, you know, it's just us in here. Employees say it all starts with a painting. This is the picture in the back dining room of the captain that we were talking about. Near the management office hangs a painting of Captain Andrew McKeever. Its reputation passed on from employee to employee. And they said, that, hey, that picture, don't ever touch it. Um, the only time we do go around it is when we clean it. Um, it's never been moved. And that it was haunted and that if you moved it, that the ghost would follow you around the restaurant. Haunted or cursed, the story goes those who touch it pay a price. The girl that was hanging Christmas lights around the captain that she actually touched the painting, she cut her hand open pretty bad later that day um, at corned beef as well. And the people that touched it and tried to clean it, they saw shadows walking around, that things would get knocked off the countertops. And there's a feeling their mere presence in the room is what provokes him. Before I actually turned all the lights off, the lights shut off on their own. Um, not exactly sure how it happened, but they shut off for about three seconds and then they cut back on all by themselves. From the billiards to the boom boom room, more unexplained happenings that many believe the captain is the culprit. A few customers have said they've heard voices and uh, like thought their name was being called or whispered and they never heard any, or never saw anybody. Employees tell us after hours, even when the crowds have cleared, some rooms still don't feel empty. I thought I might have seen a silhouette or someone walking through or thinking someone was in a room, they, there was no one in there, but I thought there was someone in there. A presence is felt, and among the creeks are faint voices. There has been also rumors about people hearing their names whispered kind of from, you know, coming down the stairs. Is the captain condemning corned beef, or is it just a mirage in the minds of patrons and employees? Either way, the paranormal hasn't stopped the party, but the legend lives on. Cursed or coincidence? We'll let you decide. In Roanoke, Alyssa Ray, 10 News, working for you. Ooh, that is a good question. I love that. Is it a curse of the captain or just a coincidence for all these folks? So here's how stuck I am. I don't believe in any of it, but I'm not touching that I was going to say, well, then I triple it on dare you to go touch that painting nope. and see what happens. I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Would you? I am, nope, nope. not touching that painting. Nope. Absolutely not. Yeah.